Hi, I'm Beth, and this video is brought to you by Handy Quilter and the Moxie Machine. When you're first getting started quilting, it can be hard to decide what designs to stitch. Today, I'm sharing some easy, beginner-friendly designs that you can try. The educators at Handy Quilter sent me some design ideas for my quilt top, which was really helpful. So I picked a few of those to stitch out on my practice cloth here. So this one was kind of a petal that goes into the center and out to the edge. I did a little bit of ribbon candy for my sashing. And then here was, this is kind of the E's and L's that is in the how to quilt kit to practice, kind of loops. And I thought this was very nice, but maybe a little too dense for what I wanted to do. And then this one is the one that I really liked and I'm going to stitch out on my quilt top. So this is a little more simplified of the loops and it just goes up and has one loop, one E or L, and then goes back out and comes up to the center. So I thought that was really fun because it kind of looks like a flower. It was relatively easy and I felt like this was going to stitch out a little bit faster than the other ones for me. I also practiced a little bit of wishboning too. So it's a good idea to practice your designs and decide which one you feel like you really want to stitch out across your entire quilt top. I think it's important to remember when you're just getting started that it's not going to be perfect right away and you will make mistakes and that's okay. I've loaded my quilt and I'm ready to start stitching. But first I'm going to take my finger and just kind of trace my path a little bit so that I have that muscle memory and I know how I'm going to start and then where I'm going to be going. So I'm doing my wishbone design back and forth, making that little loop. Kind of just like a sideways figure eight. Now I want to end on the corner of my square so I can start my little petal design. And again, I'm going to stop with the needle down and just think about where I'm going to go and which direction I would like to go. Again, I'm going to take my finger and just trace the path again. This really helps me to know where I'm going, what I'm doing, and where I'm going to end up. All right, so I'm starting to stitch. I'm going to go up towards the center and make my loop and then go back out to the corner. Take a little pause, go up to the center and make my loop and go back to the corner. You want to kind of be watching where are you going? Look at the point where you're wanting to go. So go up toward the center and make that loop and then go back to the corner. And then up to the center, make the loop and then back to the corner. I know it's a little hard to see the stitching here because I used a pale pink thread, but if you're just starting using a low contrast thread, really can help hide any of those mistakes and you just get that nice texture from the quilting. Let's see that again, but faster. I hope this inspires you to give quilting a try. Be bold, be creative, and quilt with Moxie. Learn more at handyquilter.com moxie.